G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Let's do a geometry problem from the grade 10 exam. It goes as follows. Suppose square EFGH has one vertex on each side of square ABCD. I'm starting to get a little bit lost already. Uh, point E is on AB with a funny bar on top, with AE equals 7 times EB. Okay, I'm just reading this out loud, I'm not really taking what I'm reading just yet. But the question is, what is the ratio of the area of EFGH to the area of ABCD? <sighs> okay, deep breath, deep breath. Um, well, this is a geometry problem. I guess the strategy here is really the obvious one. Draw a picture. I need to make sense of this with a picture. So I've got a square, EFGH, with one vertex on each side of another square, ABCD. All right, so it looks like EFGH is going to be inside big square ABCD. So I'll start drawing this. Here's square A, B, C, D. And there's square EFGH with one vertex on each side of this guy. All right, so I've probably got a tilde square in this picture. But I've got some information. Point E is on the line segment AB. Okay, that's what the bar means. So E is somewhere along the side AB. But before I draw it, there's some extra information about it. It says that AE is 7 times EB. All right, that is the distance twixt A and E is 7 times the distance twixt E and B. So E is going to be somewhere along here with this distance between A and E 7 times as big between this distance E and B. Aha, all right, so it's going to be something like this, so I'll do it here. But I want to indicate somehow that this length is 7 times that length. So I didn't draw units here, maybe I'll just call this x and 7x. All right, I think I've got that information right now. Uh, oh, that's just one point on the side of the square, so I guess E, F, G, H is going to be the rest of the square. I assume everything's symmetrical, so it's going to be something like this. Do, 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 do. Whoop, set my pictures way not symmetrical. E, F, G, H. All right. Information's correct, the picture's just wacky, no, no problem. And um, what are we doing? What is the ratio of the area of EFGH? So I want the ratio of this area compared to the total area. All right. Ooh, can I do any pieces here? Well, I guess I've just declared that the big square has side length 8x. So I know the area of ABCD would be 8x squared. I've got a formula for it. So I guess all I need to do now is work out the area of the shaded square, and I'm set to go. So my challenge now is, can I work out the side length of the shaded square? Well, I've got one part of this is given by x, and this is looking very Pythagor Pythagorean-ish to me. So maybe there is a way to get to a form of the side length and carry on with this problem. I feel there's hope in this question. So give it a try. Have a look at the essay that goes for this video. And compare your answer with mine. See if we agree. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.